it is Amber here. Oh, Lord. Um, so, basically, a funny story. So, I tried to make a, um, get ready with me for work, uh, a few weeks ago. And I don't know if I posted it or not. I don't think I did. Um, but it was really bad, so I kind of want to, like, redo that. Um, but starting off first... Let me just explain to you why I'm remaking this. I watched a few videos of people getting ready, and I was like, you know what? Like, I looked up online. There's not a lot of people that are guards that actually explain what they do in the morning. So, I kind of want to be, like, someone that's actually more... Give you more, like, more informed to you. Like, they give you more information because, like, our mornings are pretty simple, but also pretty rough, too. So, I just want to explain what we first do. So, the morning actually getting ready part might actually be different for all guards. But I know if they do pool like me, we all do the same things in the morning when we're actually there. So, um, yeah. Um, so, let's just get... So starting off, I usually just get dressed. So I have the work tank top that we have to wear, which um, I do wear this throughout the work day. And then on the back, it just has like the work little thing, majiggy. But yeah, I just have a sweatshirt. I love this sweatshirt. Look how cute it is. Um, I have this sweatshirt on right now. And I love it. I just got it actually down to the beach, but I love it. It's so soft and comfy. But anyways, I usually always wear a sweatshirt in the morning. Because usually in the morning, I'm like always really, really, really cold. And always just need something just to throw on really fast. But yeah, so we always had this tank top on. And then underneath, I just have my guard suit. Because it just has the word guard on it. Um, so I have that. And then I got my handy dandy little whistle. So, yeah, um, for my face, I don't really do anything. I just wash it really fast in the morning. I put the little tiniest, tiniest bit of mascara on. Uh, I don't really put a whole lot, just a little bit. And I just put some face moisturizer and some face sunscreen on. And then I usually just take my hair and I throw it up in like a bun or I put it in a braid or just a ponytail. I just try to get it out of my face because when it's in my face, it's a pain in the butt like it just gets in the way of everything and it also like sticks in my back when it's like I don't know it's gross and I really like it so I try not to but anyways yeah um so and then I just obviously just wear a pair of flip-flops so yeah so I don't really have a lot of mornings where I actually make food at home I'm always buying food, so I bought some coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, and I bought a bagel, and it is 8.18 right now. I have to be at work at 9, um, so I still have some time. It only takes me like two seconds to get to work, because I literally just work at the pool that's right in my neighborhood, and when they made my coffee this morning, they, oh, that's gonna fall. Um, I could tell that when I got home to try it, they forgot my sugar. How do you forget sugar in coffee, people? I'm a little pissed about that, but I'm just going to add some. Ah! But yeah, I couldn't believe that they forgot the sugar, but... Kind of sad, but... Yeah, so, yeah, at this point, I usually just... Have something to... Drink and eat and stuff. And I don't know if I'm ruining the coffee, but I need some sugar in it. Because I cannot have it without sugar. That's just... Not going to fly very well. Let's see if that tastes any better. Oh lord, this coffee is so bad. They really messed up my order really bad. Okay. 
it's a little better. It's still not the way I like it. They really messed up my word bad. I was about to say a word, but I'm not going to. All right. My bagel. Oh, I freaking love Dunkin' Donuts bagels. Okay. So, I just want to, like, set you down. Yeah, anyways, I'm just going to eat my bagel, drink this coffee because I need coffee but even though it tastes really crappy um and I'm also Lord. um and then after that I'll just show you what I do next and stuff but yeah I'm just gonna eat my breakfast because I'm really hungry and yeah okay guys so it is 8 53 I'm about ready to walk over to work and I just wanted to explain to you guys really fast. Um, one last thing before I do. Oh my god, this little guy is sticking out. One last thing I do before work is that I just fill up my water bottle. If you guys do not have one of these bottles from Corkscull or Corksicle, I don't know how to say it. Um, I don't know if I said it right or not. I have the maroon um, large size one. And then it just screws on with one of these tops. If you do not have one of these yet, I totally recommend them. Um, it's like the bomb bottle, like being a guard, it sucks and your water bottle water isn't cold anymore and you can't get it up because there's too many people in the pool to go to the fridge and get another one. So this keeps my water all cold all day at work, which is really great. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna fill it with ice, put it in water, and I'll meet you at work. Okay guys, so I'm at work. Basically, this is our table that we set up, and the chair, and there's the pool and my airplane. Anyways, yeah. Um, so, not allowed to show this to you, but I'm just going to do the chemicals for the pool, and sweep the pool, which the things over there, and yeah. And I'm just going to sweep the pool, and then yeah. So I actually wanted to share with you before people start coming to the pool, what the pool looks like, what I do with the pool, and everything like that throughout the day. So, yeah. So, this is the pump room. And and that's the area where every morning we go and check to make sure that the, the pump is working. Oh my god, my hair. That's where we go check to make sure the pump is working and everything like that. Um, we have the bathrooms, the boy, the boys' bathroom, the girls' boys' bathroom, and the girls' bathroom. Um, we're exploring. Explore. Um, yeah. When you walk outside, this is what it looks like from outside. So that is where I sit, and then we have this little, uh, which we put this outside. And this is obviously for if someone's drowning, like they get like their backs broke or neck broke from um, a diving injury. Because you don't supposed to dive, but people do it by accident. They can get hurt, and this is what we use to save them so they don't get any more injuries. So we just keep it there. And then these are the two trash cans, which I gotta dump at the end of the day. There's my reflection, kind of. Um, this is the tube that we use as guards that we keep with us at all times while people are in the pool. And I just put this right next to the lifeguard chair. So then I have it. And when I'm sitting down, I use that chair. And when it's really sunny out, I need an umbrella. I use this chair. It's all nice and beautiful and clean. I just finished vacuuming it. That is the hot tub. And this little thing right out here is where there's like noodles and all that and toy stuff for the kids to play with. This is a must. People have to wear that before they come to the pool. And then you walk inside. Obviously, I've already showed this, but there's a cook machine thing with sodas and stuff. This is only for me to use, or whatever guard is working that day, 
So I just have my bag here, my sweatshirt, and my towel. I don't think anyone really takes stuff out of your bag because that's kind of rude. This is the chemical book that we use. This is my water bottle and my sunscreen, which I'm going to put out next to my chair. This is a, I don't know what people have been doing recently. There is adult swim at 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m., but I don't really do that. Like, you're supposed to have adult swim, but this girl right here doesn't really do it. Um, and then we have the little chemical things here. Which, for my lunch break, um, so I'm working from 9 today to 5, and then from 5 to 8. Yeah, and between 5 to 8, I'm going to be, um, I can have an hour lunch break, and I'll probably just drive somewhere to get food. That's usually what I do. My sunglasses, which I need to have on me right now. And yeah, and then you have a fridge here, which anyone can use. But as you can see, some people just keep like stuff in there. And then right here is where us as guards can keep stuff. Um, but yeah, I usually, I used to, I pack water to all the other pools that I go to, but I don't really pack one for here because of the fact that there's a water fountain and it's really good water. So I just fill up my bottle with that. But yeah, so right now it is only so right now it is only um, 9:30, It's not no 9:37. Sorry, the pool opens at 10. So sometimes here I finish a little earlier. Some other pools that are like bigger pools, so it takes me a longer to sweep the pool, the pool and stuff. But here I'm, as you can tell, I'm already done. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Now I basically just sit and I just wait for um, that bathroom just turned on by itself. That's creepy. Anyways, so yeah. Um, and at the end of the day, when I start packing up and cleaning everything, I will show you what I do. Um, and yeah, basically that's it, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go now for my hair. Uh, for my 11 hour shift. That's gonna be fun, ew. Um, but yeah, see y'all for now. <laughs> Okay, so no one's here at the pool. The pool's been open for 35 minutes now. No one has came yet or even attempted to come. I'm really bored and I cannot wait until one comes because around like one through four-ish is usually when someone comes to give me a lunch break. My hair is greasy and gross. And my one friend says that she's coming um, after work, which she gets off work at 4 today. And she says she'll come by and say hi. But until she comes by, I'm going to be really bored. Like, there's usually a lot of people here, but I think since, oh my god, my hair looks so gross. Um, but I think that since summer's almost over, since there's only like... A week and a half out the summer, all the grandkids are back at their house house and they're not with their grandparents, which in my neighborhood here there's a lot of grandparents. Like it's a lot of old people. So I guess all the kids have already left. Hmm. So I'm a little bored, but I don't know. Hopefully the rest of this day will go fine. Um, if no one comes today, literally it's going to be the easiest day ever. i just been on my phone all day. I should have brought my charger, but I didn't because I thought, oh, I don't really need that, which now I kind of need it because I kind of need to charge my phone now. But yeah. Okay. Hopefully someone will come to the pool.